I'm honored to uh, speak today about my friend Mike Day. I've known uh, Coach Day since 2000 uh, when I first came to Rockhurst, and he was a senior playing on the football team that year. Um, and I found him to be an extraordinary athlete and a, and a, and a rambunctious kid with a lot of energy. Um, I then ran back into Coach uh, in 2010 when I came back to Rockhurst and started teaching again. And as a teacher and coach, you're going to be hard-pressed to find somebody who can go the distance, the extra mile for their students and their athletes. His 6 a.m. workouts are legendary, and yet the boys show up uh, in large numbers to uh, face whatever grueling and difficult workout coach has in store for them. In the math room, he's always helpful with his students, always trying to get them to learn how to solve problems, uh, both math problems as well as life problems. As a football coach, Mike has a keen mind and is always studying, trying to improve himself, looking for ways to improve the program, and looking for ways to help the boys become better athletes. And Mike is truly an example of someone seeking the majus. Over the course of these many years that I've known uh, Coach, uh, I've shared many experiences uh, that have really bonded and cemented our, our friendship. We've had multiple days of practice and games and uh, film study, state championships. Uh, we've attended Kairos retreats together. Um, I think one of some of my favorite memories, though, are the many meals that we've shared. Uh, we both have a, a fondness for, uh, for dining and, and going out and trying new restaurants. And uh, we've uh, shared a lot of great conversation and, and exchanged life stories and, and ideas during those meals. And uh, we do that with a group in our, our birthday dinner club, and that's been very uh, meaningful to me. And Coach Day is also a part of our family. Uh, he's had many meals with my family, uh, with my kids. He's uh, been involved in their lives. Uh, they always get excited when he comes over, especially when he comes over and uh, they know that we're going to play uh, this card game we play called Nerds. Um, they love playing that with uh, with Coach Day. In short, my uh, my friendship with Mike uh, confirms what uh, the Book of Sirach has to has to say about friendship. So uh, bear with me. I want to read this short passage. Let those who are friendly to you be many, but one in a thousand your confidant. When you gain friends, gain them through testing, and do not be quick to trust them. For there are friends when it suits them, but they will not be around in times of trouble. Another is a friend who turns into an enemy and tells of the quarrels to your disgrace. Others are friends, table companions, but they cannot be found in times of affliction. When things go well, they are <clears throat> your other self and lorded over your servants. If disaster comes upon you, they turn against you and hide themselves. Stay away from your enemies and be on guard with your friends. Faithful friends are a sturdy shelter. Whoever finds one finds a treasure. Faithful friends are beyond price. No amount can balance their worth. Faithful friends are a life-saving medicine. Those who fear God will find them. Mike is a true friend. Mike is a true gift of God, and I'm most grateful for him and his friendship. As a colleague, I will miss him at Rockhurst, but as a friend, I am so excited for him and wish him happiness and fulfillment as he and his fiancée, Jamie, embark on their new journey together. Christ peace, Mike. Godspeed. Hey, good day. This is Lord Bunch. Uh, wish you the best, man. Love you. Hey, Coach. It's Xavier, probably the best sophomore lineman out there. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for us. You're an amazing coach. I'm really going to miss you next year. Thank you, Coach Day. I had a great time this year. Hey, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for everything that you did for us this year. Um, putting up with... I know putting up with a bunch of sophomores isn't really the easiest thing. So um, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, and your class has been one of the biggest highlights for me uh, at Rockhurst. And you've been one of the best teachers I've had at Rockhurst. So um, I just wanted to wish you the best of luck and um, say thank you for everything. Coach Day, thank you for all you do and all you've done. Uh, it was amazing being a student and a player for you. Um, take care, and I'm wishing you the best of luck in all you do. Rock State. Thank you, Coach Day. We're really going to miss you at Rockhurst, and I wish you luck in the future. 
Thank you, Coach Dave, for putting up with all those sophomore linemen. I know it was a tough job. Hey, Coach, just wanted to say I was beyond thankful to be put in your geometry class this year. Appreciate you making math fun, and thank you for your time at Rockhurst. Thank you, Coach Dave, for uh, teaching me math this year and being my football coach. I really appreciate it. I hope you go on to do bigger and better things. Coach, I've really enjoyed having you as a teacher and being a student of yours. Your classes have been so awesome, and it's been really awesome having classes with you. So know of my prayers for you as you leave Rockhurst and go on to wherever life takes you. Thank you again for everything, Coach. It's really been really awesome. Coach Day, you're a great teacher and an even better dude. Uh, I'm very thankful for all the things you taught me in class and all the great memories we made, and I wish you fine happiness in what you do. Thank you, Coach Day. Happy trails. Thank you, Coach Day, for all you've done for the school. Uh, I've really enjoyed your class and enjoyed going to Colorado with you and just being out with the boys. I uh, wish you the best. Good luck. God bless. Rock State. Thank you, Coach Day. Good luck, as always. Rock State. Coach Day, thank you for everything that you did for Rockers, especially opening the weight room up early in the mornings, helping us get our work in and holding us accountable. Hoping good things come to you at your next job. What up, Coach Day? Thank you very much for being my math teacher. Always having a good time in class. I miss you. Thanks, Coach Day, for being an awesome teacher. I know you didn't always enjoy it, but we're going to miss you. You raised me well. Thank you, Coach Day, for your year of service. Hey, Coach Day, I really enjoyed you as a teacher. I'm going to miss you. I wish you the best. Thanks. Peace out, Coach Day. Appreciate everything you did for us. Have a really fun year. Good luck to whatever you're doing in the future. Hey, Coach Day. I just want to thank you for being a great football coach and teacher. Um, and thanks for pushing us to be better in both the classroom and on the football field. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Coach Day. Uh, I'm going to miss sending you emails every single day and annoying you in class, but I just want to say I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I'll be keeping you in my prayers. Thank you, Coach Day. Our second hour math class and track team will miss you deeply. And we hope the best for your future. Coach Day, for a great school year. We'll miss you. Hey, Coach Day. Just want to say thank you for being an awesome teacher. Thank you for a really, um, really fun year. It's been eventful. Uh, we'll miss you at Rockhurst. Hello, Coach Michael Day. Upon starting to reflect on your connection with Rockhurst High School, I've had the privilege of being present to witness you as that hyper-competitive teenager who continued to learn about what it meant to be very talented but also how to work hard. Whether it was seeing you have the confidence to pull up for a three-pointer, maybe once you crossed half court or so, despite what coach might say, or in the weight room with your group of friends. It was clear to me that you possessed great gifts, but underneath the surface, I also started to see a person who was deeply caring of his family, his friends, and his school. As we fast forward to you becoming a member of our staff, I probably could not have envisioned at that time how blessed I would be that you felt a calling to join the Rockers teaching staff and coaching staffs. A standout football player and basketball player could have had such an impact on our cross country and track and field programs. My memories flood my mind, such as our Colorado trips, even when you scared the living daylights out of that group one year when it was all dark we cooked together, we cared together, we learned from one another. You were there when I decided to come back and help out the track program, and you were there when I knew it was time to pass the baton to you. I had complete confidence when I decided to step away that you would do great things, but you excelled and found ways to connect with kids and to help them hold on to hope and dreams. And maybe even more importantly, you shared a roadmap for them to achieve those dreams. Mike, you brought an energy to the many groups of kids you coached, you mentored. To see them develop into friends later in your life, in their lives, I think is a true testament to what you have meant to so many over this decade or so of coaching and teaching. I hope you take great pride in knowing the impact you have had coaching for sports, teaching math, doing speed and explosion, going on Kairos, working with fellow coaches and alums, and so much more. You lead by example so many ways. And these moments were not only about athletics. Anytime I would pop in your class or be visiting with you in the halls, kids constantly showed a playful respect with you, one that is very difficult to achieve in terms of that balance of hard work and great joy. 
but for me, maybe some of the best memories are almost like it was yesterday when we were sitting up at Bellinopoly and you and I would be doing school work and at the same time hanging out with good friends. We learned to combine our passions for Rockhurst, for great food, for our families, and for friendships. It's difficult to summarize all the connected moments that continually show me your love for Rockhurst, for our students, our coaches, and our student athletes. You gave so much of yourself, and I am consoled that while Rockhurst is losing such a tremendous asset, you are gaining some parts of your life that you so much want to explore. Family, love, faith, and whatever else God is calling you to do. Please know, Mike, that while you might not be calling the plays or writing the workouts, you will be continuing to have a place to support the Hawklets. The friendships that you made can and should still grow. And I think I speak on behalf of so many of us that we look forward to seeing where this new chapter in your life's journey leads you. Thank you, Coach Mike Day. Words are incomplete. But know that these are from the heart. You are loved. Good luck. God bless. Go Hawklet, from your friend, Coach Mike Dirks.